Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at the human causes of climate change. This is part of Paper 1, Unit A, The Challenge of Natural Hazards. Scientists have proved that natural causes, including volcanic activity, solar output and orbital changes, account for long-term climate change. However, there has been a rapid increase in warming since the 1970s as a result of human activities that release greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. We are going to have a look at some of these greenhouse gases and how they get into the atmosphere in this video. Our first greenhouse gas is carbon dioxide, the headliner in all climate change negotiations. In recent years, we have seen a huge increase in the levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. It accounts for about 60% of the enhanced greenhouse effect. Global concentration of carbon dioxide has increased by 30% since 1850. Burning fossil fuels such as coal, oil and gas in industry to generate electricity or to power vehicles all release huge amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Deforestation is also responsible. When trees are cut down to clear the land for economic activity, they are often burned, which emits lots of carbon dioxide. However, trees are also natural carbon sinks, storing carbon. So once they are felled, they are no longer able to store the carbon and it is released back into the atmosphere. Our second greenhouse gas is methane. Methane is very effective at, at absorbing heat and as a result accounts for 20% of the enhanced greenhouse effect and its subsequent heating of the earth. Methane is released into the atmosphere in many different ways. It is released when organic matter rots down in landfill sites or on compost heaps. It is given off when we burn biomass for energy and one of the biggest causes is through agriculture. For example, farm livestock, particularly cattle, give off methane, as does rice farming. The final greenhouse gas we are going to discuss in this video is nitrous oxides. Nitrous oxides are extremely efficient at trapping heat. In fact, tiny concentrations in the atmosphere are up to 300 times more effective at capturing heat than carbon dioxide. Nitrous oxides are released into the atmosphere through lots of economic activities, such as from power stations producing electricity, released from fertilisers used to improve crop yields in farming, given off from sewage treatment plants like the image on the screen, and are also one of the many toxins found in vehicle exhaust, and are responsible for dangerous levels of air quality across thousands of cities across the globe. So why are the gases that we have just looked at collectively referred to as greenhouse gases? Well, they're called greenhouse gases because they contribute to the greenhouse effect, which is so called because it heats up the earth like a greenhouse. The sun's infrared rays enter the earth's atmosphere. Now, most solar radiation is able to pass through the atmosphere to warm up the earth's surface. This is called shortwave radiation. We call the heat given off by the Earth's surface, so the reflected heat, long-wave radiation. Many human activities cause greenhouse gases to, re to be released into the atmosphere. These form a blanket within the atmosphere that traps in this long-wave radiated heat. This again is the heat that has been reflected from the Earth's surface. We do need the greenhouse effect to keep the Earth warm. Without it, life wouldn't exist on Earth as it would be too cold. It would actually be around 33 degrees colder. However, what we now have is an enhanced greenhouse effect where too much heat is being trapped in. And this is what's leading to climate change. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on the human causes of climate change. Thank you for watching.